Hello folks, time for another video and the shave, which I definitely need. Yeah, well, I wanted to shave with something kind of to get me going into this warm weather. So I, you know, it's like a soap that I haven't used in a while. I used this soap artist in a few shaves ago, but my favorite soap by Zingari Man is Nomad. Now, here's a funny little story. This is in the Sego base. And since I have so much Amazon credit and I did find the Watchman by Zingari Man on Amazon, I said, hey, I'm going to pick up this because I do not have the Sego base. I have many containers of the original Nomad from Zingari in her vegan base. I actually think I have two or three of these and they're pretty still full. Now, I go way back on Zingari for the folks who don't know. Now, before it was Zingari, it was the Smitten Soapery. Now, if Heather sees this, she's going to flip out. Where did you get that? <laughs> I've had this. Now, this is the bath soap and it's called Sexy Beast. Now, this is what made me fall in love with Nomad. Sexy Beast is Nomad. Mm, look at that. Awesome stuff right there. The Smitten Soapery. So, this was Zingari Man before Zingari Man. Little history out there. Yeah, so anyway, I figured that, you know, since I have all this Amazon uh, gift card basically sitting in my wallet there, I said, let me get the Nomad in the Sego base. Now, what's awesome about this is it's Sweet Bay, Lime, and rum so basically it's a bay rum but it's a sweet bay rum it doesn't have that hefty clove scent it's just a very awesome sweet mm. well that's that great pour in this too the only downside to getting soap from amazon is they do put their stupid sticker thank god they put it on the bottom of the container you'll see right there and on the after well, actually, the recovery splash, it was right smack dab in the middle, but I was able to peel it off. But anyway, let's get cruising here because it's late in the afternoon and kids are going to be coming home from school. So I'm using the Mercure 39C Slant, a.k.a. the Sledge Hammer with that nice barber pole handle. And blade in there is a Kai blade. I figured I'll cut right through this week's worth of growth. I've just been so busy this week. And I am using the Wild West. Wild West Brushworks Dolce today. And I've been whipped up that awesome scent in the Captain's Choice Ball. I like this combination because the brush goes with this ball so perfectly as far as color and scheme of things. All right. Oh, it smells so good. Actually, I haven't used this in a while. I don't know why. It's my favorite, one of my favorite Bay Rum scents out there. It's very nice and sweet. A sweet Bay Rum. All right. And one thing that's awesome about Zingari is I've also noticed this with the Sego base is it's hard to kill it. If you put too much water, it still maintains its fluffiness. Oh, this is so awesome. Yeah, even though I have my wife was like, don't you have this soap like in like four or five different containers worth. I'm like, yeah, I do, but I don't have it in the towel version. And she's like, what is that? You know, so I kind of had to explain it to her. And she looked, look, looked at me like I was nuts as usual. And I am glad that when whoever this shipped from Amazon, I think it came from California. Both the soap and the splash, even though Zingari is in, in the Evansville, Indiana. 
But I guess it was sitting in a warehouse. I'm not sure how Amazon works it when it comes to artisan soaps. I know a lot of them do not go on Amazon because it's a pain in the neck. Anyway, McCure 39C, the sledgehammer, Kai Blade. So anyway, I am glad when they did ship me this. They just shipped it in a little plastic envelope, Amazon envelope, not the padded kind either, just a regular one. And they put the splash like in a Ziploc, which I'm glad they did because there was a little bit of leakage, not a lot, but there was a little bit of leakage and it would have probably ruined the label on the soap because the soap wasn't wrapped up at all. So that is one of the disadvantages of ordering artisan soaps and splashes from Amazon. But man, I'm glad it's actually on there because I have so many Amazon gift cards in my wallet on Amazon. So there were a few people complaining that on my when I used the Zingari last time I bought through Amazon. Why didn't you get it from the artisan? Well, like I said, I have so much Amazon credit. that I'm glad it's actually on Amazon. I do buy from artisans, but if I can go somewhere like to like a Maggard's or a Pastor's website and get three or four different artisans that makes more sense too because then you don't only have to pay for shipping once. And to Amazon, since I'm a Prime member, I don't have any shipping and I have the product usually in a day or two days. In this case, since the product came from an Amazon warehouse in California, I had it in two days and my air conditioning just shut off sorry about that it is quite warm here in Sydney, new jersey it's 80 degrees went from being like 40 to 60 degrees one day to 80 degrees the next we had a nasty storm last night too mm. love the residual Zingari has always had great <clears throat> residual, even back in the old days when it was the smitten soapery. And I had sexy beast. It was still a great base. I'm not sure what the deal is, but some artisans really have to change their base every other week. But I find that bases that work, they should stick with, but I'm not the artisan. Guess we're going to just keep up with the times and other artisans. But, wow, my sink's already got a lot of, a lot of stubble floating in it. This razor is so mild feeling wise but it's so efficient I'm guessing that is because of the slant cuts in that guillotine fashion Wow, that's so nice. What I'm really enjoying is the scent. Because I really like this sweet bay. I mean, it's an awesome bay rum, but it's 
on the sweeter side, which I really enjoy. All right. Wow. That is awesomely slick. My face feels great, except for the usual trouble spot there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bead across the bottom of the jawline. It'll hit it up. Oh, yeah. Actually heard from the feedback there. All right. Let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. Put on some cold water. Rinse out the sink because it's looking nasty, nasty. Slickness on the soap is really good. I mean, the residual slickness is like, it is up there. Lancaster towel. Really? Sigmund has some things to say. Oh, I just broke cardinal rule. Wiping the camera down with the Lancaster. Usually you don't like to do that, but oops, Lancaster towel for the good old mop up. Now, let me just recap the shave real quick. Let me actually wipe myself off because I am now wet all over. Alrighty. So that was, I was going to say sexy beast, but that was Nomad in the Sego base, which is Zingari Man's tallow base great scent like it says i have many versions of the nomad i have the the original vegan formula and i have the original smitten soapery's version of it called sexy beast yes i think i originally bought that because of the name because i found it was kind of interesting all right and that was the wild west brushworks dolce with that nice plus soft style knot and it was whipped up in the Captain's Choice Sandstorm Bowl, which I don't think is produced anymore. And Razor was the Mercure 39C Slant with a tie blade in it. All right. Now, I was lucky enough that when this was in stock when I bought it, was the Matching Nomad Recovery Splash. Normally from Zingari, I have the aftershave bombs. I have it in Nomad also. I actually have, I think, two or three of the bombs in Nomad. But I got the splash. Good stuff. I've already smelled it when it came in yesterday. Just like her bombs, the recovery splash is awesome. You don't get slammed with a stinging sensation from alcohol this is very nice oh this is great and the scent is just spot on good stuff yes and the ingredients are on here but it is kind of lengthy but let me see if i can hold it up there for you maybe not sure if it'll pick it up. You might got to pause it. And same thing for the soap. Hold that up there too. Might got to pause it and scope it out. Alrighty. So that was Zingari's Nomad. My favorite Zingari scent. It's also one of my favorite Bayram scents. So if you like today's Nomad Shave from Zingari Man, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, get the old dislike button. Please subscribe. We're actually climbing again. 
so we could have a giveaway hopefully uh we'll do another giveaway within you know a couple of weeks if you guys are hitting that subscribe all right so stay safe out there and until next shave glenn signing off